To this now, could California go from a mega drought to a mega flood? It's hard to imagine, but new research shows that it does happen, and it's even more likely to happen in the coming decades, in part due to climate change. So how is the state bracing for potentially catastrophic flooding? CBS 13 Shante Passmore is getting answers from Old Sacramento. Shante. Yeah, guys, over 100 years ago, Sacramento witnessed devastating high waters. And what the study shows is it could happen again and more often. The Great Flood of 1862. Historical documents and pictures show the capital city submerge in water as people traveled on canoes to get around. A new study shows a disastrous mega flood could overwhelm the state. Sacramento and San Joaquin Valleys could turn into a temporary inland sea, stretching nearly 300 miles in length. It's based on an event that actually happened. It happened you know, more than 100 years ago, but we know that this is possible in California's climate even without global warming. Even without climate change, the study shows how mega floods happen a handful of times every thousand years. But a warmer planet means more moisture in the atmosphere, which leads to more intense precipitation. Storms are also getting warmer. So how can the Department of Water Resources draw context from the 1862 mega flood when creating flood plans? And we do use it to go through and predicate where we've gone through and built levees, where we've had dams, where we have emergency response supplies ready to go through, where we have forecasters looking for patterns that might lead to an event like that. But the idea of mega floods happening in the coming decades pushes the clock. It definitely speaks to the urgency of why we need to continue to be prepared. The state says emergency plans are constantly subjected to new updates for floods. Scientists say the constant threats of extreme weather in the state may mean its emergency preparedness is battle tested due to recent flooding. Still, the study predicts ominous danger ahead. This is a good example of the kinds of problems every part of the country is going to have. California is relatively well prepared prepared for these kinds of extreme events. And the state tells me there are structural factors it looks at when it comes to flooding, but also there are non-structural factors like evacuation routes. It tells me every year the state sends out thousands of flyers to property owners down in the century, Central Valley warning them to get ready. The big three takeaways would be buy flood insurance, have an evacuation route, and a go bag. Yeah, feast or famine when it comes to rainfall. It's tough to talk about that right now. It's so darn sunny out, but good to know. Shante, thanks live in Old Sacramento.